Hi, this is Kay. I'm the Operation Glass Slipper Event Coordinator, and this is our quick training video. Thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this and find out what is happening and what we do expect of you, our volunteers. This is our seventh annual Princess event. We are thrilled to be hosted at Southdale this year, so please don't go to Mall of America. We are going to be at Southdale on the third floor up by Macy's, which is where you will find us. When you get to the top of the escalator, you as our volunteers will go to the right and you'll see a big sign and there is a huge room that is our volunteer check-in room. That is where you are going to start. The first thing I'd like to tell you is please leave your purses at home. Um, we do not have any locked space to put them up at. If you leave them in the break room, you are leaving them there at your own risk. Also, um, jackets and coats can be left in that room and again, um, it is going to be left at your own risk in that area. It is, again, not locked. There will be people coming and going out of that event space. Please take a few minutes when you get there to sign in. Give us the time that you get there. And when you go to leave, if you could give us your checkout time, that would be fantastic. Let's us know exactly how long our volunteers are in our space. And that way it helps us to plan for our volunteers next year. So once you've done that, move on into the event space, which you will find outside of that room right at the top of the escalator. Please um, enter in either, the, either one of the sides and go to the space that you've been assigned to or look for me and I will be right by the princess check-in. So that's where you're going to find me. If you don't know where to go, I can help direct you or I will find a spot for you to go. So here's how our event will happen this year. Our princesses will be coming in they will get checked in at check-in. Once they've been checked in, they will be measured by our measuring team. The reason we do the measuring is it gives the girls an opportunity and our fairy godmothers to know exactly, kind of, not really, okay, does that give you an idea? It's just a guideline of where to go for the dresses. So we're gonna write that on the shopping card. You're going to greet your girls if you're a fairy godmother. The girls will then go with their fairy godmother, find a dress, get it on, go to the dressing room. Fairy Godmothers, there's going to be another whole video for you, so um, I'm just gonna skim through all of that information right now. And Fairy Godmothers, if you'll please watch the Fairy Godmother training video, which you will also find out on the site. Um, that will give you more information on what is expected of the Fairy Godmothers. But our princesses will go through the event with the Fairy Godmother. Once she finds her dress, she will leave her dress on, and she, well, let me back up a step. When she enters the dressing room, she will be greeted by a dressing room attendant. That attendant will give our princess two wipes, one to wipe off any makeup and one to wipe off her armpits, just because we don't wanna leave any deodorant residue on any of the dresses. Beaded dresses are in bags, and, they'll, um, and that is so that they don't snag the other dresses. So they're going to take three dresses into the dressing room, try them on, once they find a dress that they want, they are going to keep that dress on. The other two dresses should, if the fairy godmother has time, to rebag those dresses if they are bagged. If not, give them to the dressing room attendants and they will take care of getting them bagged. We have an alterations lady in the dressing room who will be letting the girls know if their dress can go to alterations or not. If it is a dress that has too much for alterations on it, we will not be able to do it. We are really, really limiting, limiting the amount of alterations that we are doing this year. So please do not tell a girl that we can fix the dress for her. That is a decision that needs to be made by our alterations team. So the girl has her dress on now. She has her clothes in the Savvy shopping bag that Savvy Formal Wear has provided for us. They're gonna carry their street clothes in that shopping bag, leave their dress on, along with their fairy godmother, they're going to go out and get a pair of shoes. Um, very important, if they say I don't want shoes, please just write no shoes on their shopping card and send them on their way. Don't just let them have a random pair of shoes. We just don't have that kind of inventory. So if they don't need them, don't tell them that they can just get an extra pair of shoes. Having their shoes on, then they will travel on to jewelry. They will get two pieces of jewelry. There are jewelry attendants in the jewelry area to help them out. And again, fairy godmothers will touch on that later. Two pieces of jewelry, they will exit out of the jewelry department, go over to um, purses. They will select one purse. From purses, they will move on 
um, and go to the exiting dressing room. With the exception of if they need alterations, they will then move on to the alterations department. If they are not having alterations, they'll take their dress off, proceed to checkout. At checkout, they will receive their savvy coupons, their checkout sheets will be taken care of, and they will be on their way. Hopefully, magically, this will all happen within 60 minutes, 90 minutes at the top. So that's kind of what happens for our fairy godmothers. So now that I've quickly gone through that, let's go through a few of the things about why we do Operation Glass Slipper. We are a shopping experience. We are not a giveaway. That's really important to remember. Our primary goal for this event is for our princesses who come to us to feel like they are a normal girl, someone who has the same thing as everybody else. These girls so often are the ones who receive the hand-me-downs. They're the ones who receive the worn out pair of shoes um, or they're the ones who the choice is made. Are we gonna buy food for our family? Or are we gonna buy a dress for our daughter? <clears throat> Excuse me. So obviously the food for the family is gonna win out. So please treat our guests with the kindness and respect that they deserve. Their children, they were not put into this poverty position on their own. They can't help it if they have body odor. They can't help it if they don't have the greatest of manners. It's things that have not been taught to them. So this is our opportunity to step forward and say to these girls, you are important. You really mean something important and special to us. So please, let's treat them again with dignity. I'm gonna share just one quick story with you um, that has been brought to us from the past. And it was a girl who had saved her money for two years to buy her prom dress. Her parents had both lost her job, their jobs, and they were working minimal wage jobs to put food on the table for their family. Their car broke down and she gave her prom dress money to her mom and dad to buy new tires for her car. So there was no money for prom and she came, got us, came up to us afterwards with a huge hug and a kiss and said, you were my guardian angels. You were my fairy godmother. And that's kind of what we're all about. We're here to help the girls that are in need. So we have a few guidelines for you. One of those is have fun. This is really, really a lot of fun. For the people who have done this before, 90% of our volunteers are repeat volunteers. And why do you guys come back? Because this is a lot of fun. It's fun with what you do. You're going to have a great time. You're going to meet some great people. You're going to see some people that you've seen last year. So really come, enjoy, have a good time. So just a few quick things that as you are out and about in the space, if you're dress runners, if you're shoe runners, if you're an attendant somewhere, just know that we need you to be flexible. The important thing about OGS is everything is driven by the dress. We're all about the dress. So remember, if the dress was in bags, please put them back in a bag. The reason why we need to do that, we don't want the dresses to get snagged. If the bag, if the dress is on the floor, pick it up, please. Hang it up. Don't throw it on the, the floor. Respect the dress. Also, remember, no gossip about our princesses, about our any other guests who come with our princesses, and please not about the other volunteers. Feel free, we have food in the break room for you. Um, four hours is what your normal shift is. Know that we understand that's a long time, so feel free in between to take a break. Um, sometimes we might be yelling out from the break room that we need extra people, so kind of be flexible to move up front and help us if we need to. You may be signed up for one spot and we find that we have a need somewhere else and um, hopefully you can be flexible and help us out with that. So again, enjoy, have fun. We look forward to meeting with you. Feel free if you have any questions, comments, um, you can contact me through the Operation Glass Slipper website, which you will find on, our, on the website. So let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you. I know I won't be able to greet you by name, but most of you, I'll recognize your face. So thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on the 9th and 10th. 
One last thing, we are desperately in need of volunteers for late Saturday afternoon. We always, always have everyone who wants to come in the morning and know that from two o'clock on in the afternoon, we always struggle for volunteers. If you are able to come late in the day, that would be great. If you were able to stay, that's even greater. Again, we'll use whatever time we can get from you. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you next weekend. Bye.